Welcome to the Photopolymer Exposure and Development Tutorial. Today we'll be exposing and developing a KF152 release plate from Boxcar Press. The first step in this process is to remove the film that protects the emulsion side of the photopolymer plate. Next, take your negative and place it emulsion side down onto the plate. This way, it's emulsion to emulsion. The plate should read in reverse. The next step in this process is exposure. Today we'll be using an exposure unit that uses a 1000 watt bulb. Lift the glass platen and place your plate in the center of the exposure unit. Check your margins one last time, and then lower the platen onto the face up plate and negative. Next, set your exposure to 500 lux and start the vacuum. Make sure the vacuum is turned all the way to the right, and then wait for the pressure to get up to around 20 to 25 PSI. When it reaches that PSI, turn the knob gently to the left, allowing some air back into the system, therefore stabilizing the vacuum. Press S to start the exposure, and then leave the room. When you return, turn the vacuum off, and turn your knob all the way to the left, releasing all the pressure. This will allow you to lift the glass platen back off your plate. Remove your plate from the exposure unit. Next, fill a tray with water, just enough to cover the plate. Remove your negative from the plate. You'll notice that sometimes it will leave a residue behind. Do not fret. This will wash out in the development process. Set your timer for five minutes. Take your plate and place it face up in the bath. Use a soft bristle brush to remove the gelatin in the development process. Constant agitation is required to remove all the gelatin that has not been exposed. If you have to hold down your plate, hold it on the edges. This way, fingerprints will not transfer onto the soft gelatin during development. Periodically check your plate for development. You'll notice that the soft areas, or the areas that were not exposed, are opaque, whereas the exposed areas stay transparent. If the water becomes milky during development, dump it and replace it with fresh water periodically. This will ensure a fast and quick development.
After development is complete, remove your plate from the bath, let it drip, and place it on a drying rack or in a drying box. Drying times usually take between 20 and 30 minutes. When the drying time is up, check your plate to see if it is completely dry. If areas are still tacky, you will have to dry it for an additional amount of time. If it is dry, place it on the exposure unit and expose for an additional 500 lux. This will ensure that the plate is completely hardened and will not get damaged during printing. When your second exposure is complete, cut your plate down to size so it will fit on the base. This concludes our photopolymer exposure and development tutorial. I hope this experience has been helpful and good luck in your next exposure and development of a photopolymer 